All right, so now it's that time. Let's go ahead and start on the hands and knees today. And we're gonna start with the right side, just making big circles with the hip and knee. So when you extend back, you'll come up as high as you can, bring the elbow, the knee together, and then bring it back down. Big circle. And then we'll go the opposite direction. Same thing, into the elbow, up and around, and back. Good, we'll go opposite side, opposite side, first one direction in the opposite way. Opposite direction. Okay, excellent job. From here, we're gonna extend the right leg back out, opposite side. We're gonna go elbow to knee, in the middle, and then back out. Here we go, 10 times. Think about moving as slowly as you need to, to create more stability. From here, is it possible for you to take your same hand and reach back to your ankle? And then you kick the foot into the sky, lifting the chest. We'll hold it. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and opposite side. We're out and in first. Then we will kick back for the hand to the foot, kick the foot toward the sky, feel the chest open. Two and one, we'll let go. All right, from here, we'll do a little bit of lengthening. So we'll go from the dynamic dog, downward dog, and each time we'll send the leg up We'll step up and then turn a few times. Downward dog, heels go down, heart reaches back. Left leg up, left hand. We'll go back and forth, maybe about 10 or so.
Excellent. From here, we'll go back to the head, the elbows. I'm gonna have you do what's called dolphin pose. We're gonna do some circles with the right leg now. So with your hands interlaced, make sure your elbows are not wider than your shoulders. Keep them right underneath. You can grab your uh, biceps first just to make sure you have the right elbow placement. From here, lots of energy moving through your forearms, pushing into the ground. You push your, the ground away from you. Let the neck be enough room in here to relax. We're doing the right leg, big circles. We're going both directions. Maybe we'll come down in between a little child's pose. A little opposite side. The idea is that we're in the dolphin pose. Hips are off the ground. Opposite side. Here we go. Opposite direction. Child's pose is always good between the We're working the posterior chain just a little bit now. We'll come all the way down to the belly. Uh, let's do, bring the knees together, toes off the ground. You bring your hands out in front of you to where you're like a ball, holding on to a ball. Think about your shoulders away from your ears. All right, from here, we're going to lift everything up. Chest up, hands up. We'll hold for three times, 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Do the same thing, one more, two more times. Three, two, one. Make sure your knees are together. Here we go. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. One more time. Knees together. Lift up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, roll over onto your backs. We'll do one set of abs here. Our abs would be, let's do elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Interlace your hands behind your head, feet up off the ground, lift the tailbone, point to the left, reach the right leg out, belly button draws down. Inhale, tailbone up, point the elbow, reach. In, tailbone, point, reach. Try to get both the shoulder blades up, tailbone, point, reach. Inhale, tailbone, point, reach. In, tailbone, point, reach. Inhale, tailbone, point, reach. Inhale, lift, point, reach. Inhale, lift, point, reach. We're gonna go, keep going until it starts to burn. Point, reach. The further you get that sit bone out, the more it will 
challenge. Just sit down here. It's like, how far out? Out, out can I get it? Here comes the heat. <laughs> okay, good. We're going right into a bridge position now, just to open up the chest and the front of the body. We're going to hang out for a few deep breaths. Make sure your fingertips and your heels can meet one another. Let the belly expand. All right. From here, we'll come all the way up. Maybe you come up just to bring the hands behind the back. You have two different options. One is to point the hands Actually, a few different options. You can point in any direction you want to. Uh, make sure that they're both pointing the same direction, though, not one bit back and one forward. So both of them are both pointing the same direction. I like mine out to the sides. From here, make sure your feet are in far enough to where your knees stay over your ankles when you lift up. We're going to go single leg here. So it's going to be a single leg, a bridge. So it's going to come up and back down. Let's see if we can't do a few. Up for now. To the opposite side. Nice job. And then how about ten? The last 10 together, both feet on the ground. Think about your scapulas coming back towards your uh, shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades coming back towards your spine, actually. We're gonna lift up. Last ones. Lengthen the back of the body, forward fold. How much can you expand the back of the ribs while you breathe? with the ankle. I'm going to have you rotate the ankle almost like you're going to practice for spraining your ankle, right? So we're just making sure you fold it over and then come back. If you can find a rhythm or a beat or some type of speed, because, you know, usually when you go to twist your ankle, it happens really fast. So if we can get a sense of it in our brain, then it's less likely that we hurt ourselves in unintentionally. All right, then we're gonna go inside. You're gonna try to take the outside edge of your foot off the ground. And once again, you're going at a, a rhythm. I'm trying to get the rhythm. Or a speed. Go opposite side. Now this is the ankle I did sprain and it lasted for about two years and now it's finally starting to come back around. I never went to the doctor, but 
<laughs> I probably should have, but something that was inside of me was saying, it's going to be all right. Just give it some time. Stop doing crazy stuff. <laughs> we'll go opposite side. Okay. From here, let's just bring the knees together real quick. We'll do a quick set of knee circles in one direction and the opposite direction. Just get some more knee understanding. Opposite direction. Good. Okay, we're going to start with a set of lunges. Basic set of lunges. But before we do the lunge, I'm going to have you do a couple hinges over the front leg. So micro bend, small bend in the front leg, elbows back. Feel like your abdomen is stretching open. We'll hinge forward. We'll go 10 times. 10. Think about this knee pushing in just a little bit. Last one, hands will come out. We'll do five deep breaths, belly button draws in. Remember, micro bend in the front knee. Shoulders away from the ears. And now we're going 10 times across the knee. 10, nine, eight, seven. Now we'll do our lunge. All the way down, all the way up. So give me a good squeeze on the top. is good. A little opposite side. First we'll hinge. Remember micro bend in the front knee. So small bend. Hinging forward. Abdomen is lengthened. How much space can you create in the ribs? We'll hinge on your back toe or ball of the foot. every time you exhale. We'll do five times, actually 10 times toward the knee. We'll do our lunge, 15 if you can. Down, up, squeeze. Nice job. Okay, we'll do a little bit of balancing now. First, so we'll go back to the opposite side and we'll just kick 
How tall can you stay when you keep the back leg straight? I'm trying to keep it straight. You can feel your glute turn on. Go opposite side, 15 on the opposite side. Same thing. Try to keep a straight leg, straight back. Feel your glute, squeeze. So now here's the challenge. In, out. First one, there's just two of them for now. We're gonna go to four, but for now it's here, here. One in the front. You try to get your hip flexor to move. All right, now we'll go the back two. So first the four more ones were in the front. Now we'll go to the back. So it's like here and here. 10. So now, can you get all four together? One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Opposite side, opposite side. First is the front two ten, back two ten, all four. Here we go. Back side. Now all four. Try to balance and keep that balance the whole time. Okay, from here we're going to bring the legs out wide. We'll do a little bit of inner thigh stretch. So we'll send the hips back, arms out. We're just going to open up to one side. Make sure your legs are wide enough so you feel a stretch happening when you turn the torso.
Opposite direction. Okay, now the way to come out of this is heel, toe, heel, toe. Okay, we're gonna go for our first round of four times 20 seconds. We've been doing this a lot. This one looks like this though. You're gonna go from one side of your mat to the opposite side, right? We'll go back and forth. One. However far you wanna jump is up to you. This will be the first, first time we'll go back and forth for 20 seconds and then we'll do 20 seconds Squats, all right, back and forth, lateral movement for 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds squats. We'll just do two and two, so don't be too scared. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. First one, here we go. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. 10 second rest. We're going to squats. Hands behind the head. We got three, two, one. Squat. Ten seconds. Two, one, 10 second rest. We're going back, lateral movement, side to side. Three, two, one. Second rest, last set of squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Two and one. Good job, good job. All right, let's go ahead and come all the way down. We'll go back to a quick stretch here. Let's have you go to the middle. We'll just walk the hands as far forward as you can. We'll go back and forth a few times. Rolling open. Ooh. All right, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Evidently, we we're having so much fun, time just flew by. <laughs> so we'll do our five minute meditation and I'll set the timer. Here we go. Think about your energy that's moving up and down your spine. It could be like a flame traveling all the way up to the crown of your head.
Wow. That was great. I feel honored once again for you guys to show up and come do this. And I feel blessed that you keep supporting me with your donation. I'm I so um, just at awe. So I thank you so much for your support and uh, willingness to show up for yourself and for me too. So thank you. You're wonderful.